the Splatfest world premiere is over. It was a fun and exciting experience, but not everything was as it should be. One particular mode stood out as unfair, unfun, and unpolished. Today, we're talking about the tri-colored turf war. Now, from what I gather on social media, teams Paper and Rock enjoyed the experience. I, however, was Team Scissors, so the experience was not as pleasant. The real issue I have with the mode is the Ultra Signal. If the enemy, if either of the enemy team gets one, it's a loss for the center team. It's almost impossible to get them below 30% with one of those super sprinklers out. Now, this could have been a map issue. On Sturgeon, there is a huge area that the center team can't get to and pain. So they get 20% of the map already for free, then fight for the center. So it's really disheartening because you can't lose one signal if you're the middle team. So if the enemy gets an ultra signal early, then you have to endure two minutes of pointless fighting. So what's the solution to this problem? Well, as a concept, I like the tricolor matches. I would like to see how it plays out in other maps. In Splatoon 2, we got custom maps for Splatfest, and I think the mode could benefit from that. Uh, a map where the center team gets easier control of the center, but make the signal harder to defend. On Sturgeon, it felt almost impossible to take a forward position because the enemy could just get away or, you know, kind of get in from the side. This, you know, made it a bit claustrophobic for the center team. At no point, you know, did I see red get to 40% ink. Center should be the dominant team and the side teams kind of acquire the ultra signal to free that grip. Recently though, data miners have found placeholders for tri-colored matches on other maps like Mako Mart. So shifty station style matches may not happen. The second and simpler solution, the aptly named Sprinkler of Doom, it needs to be nerfed. Only time I saw a team get it and lose is when the other team, you know, Team Paper got it while Team Rock uh, got it as well. So the center team had zero chance. Now the paint area covers could be toned down or perhaps place it a little further away from center. Uh, with no way to destroy the sprinkler, uh, the center team, like I said, loses if they give up one signal. You know, if the game's going to continue, you need a way for the center team to have a fighting chance. Uh, it's worth noting that you can't get rid of the ultra signal. It plays a really important function to the mode's design, which is to keep the center team in the center. You know, that way they have to endure the sort of pincer attacks from the enemy teams as they come in. You know, that aspect of the game is fun. The big issue is, you know, the balance. You know, Splatoon's designed to be a back and forth style game. You know, that's why we have things like specials that you can give one team an advantage if they, you know, use them at the proper time. You know, perfectly holding an objective for the entire match isn't fun. It's not fun for the attacking team if they never get the objective and it's really not fun for the defending team you know if they suddenly you know give up an objective you know in the last like 30 seconds of the game and they lose uh, so you need to have a back and forth i think the game's really the most fun when you have you know that sort of volley you know like a tennis match where you know advantage and you know disadvantage advantage and disadvantage uh, and you know a recent tweet from a japanese uh splatoon team said that they're going to work on rebalancing these matches so it I think they've already acknowledged the fact that it wasn't a good experience, especially for the center. And it's actually, you know, a little bit too much. I'm sure they can see the internal data and it probably panned out that the center team lost more often than not. You know, so that's, you know, my thoughts on the mode. I want to know what you guys think. You know, sound off in the comments. What do you think about the Tricolor Turf Wars? What team were you on as well? And how would you fix them? Uh, if you even think that they need fixing. Now, I look forward to hearing your answers. This is David signing off.